they had a baby, Sean immediately accused me of infidelity. He showed me a picture from five years ago of me with some guy. Sean said I drunk too much at a party and slept with that stranger. I couldn't believe it. Nothing had happened. It was a random photo. Sean didn't believe our eldest daughter was his. He took a DNA test. The result blew his mind. Sean wasn't the father of either of our girls. But I'd never cheat on the man I love. It was a mistake. I took the test again. Sean didn't even wait for the results and filed for divorce. The new DNA test once again showed Sean wasn't the father. He wanted me to refuse child support. If not, he'd tell our daughter her real father was a nobody. I didn't want my girl to suffer, so I signed the papers, but I didn't accept the results. I studied articles and scientific reports on whether DNA tests can be wrong. To make a living, I ran deliveries and worked in my parents' store. I inherited it from them, but it turned out to be a money pit. That's why Sean didn't take it in the divorce. My kids were always around, and the youngest, Nina, became a carbon copy of Sean. I believed that if Sean saw her, he'd understand the tests were wrong. But Sean moved away and cut all ties until chance came to my aid. I brought an order to the suburbs and Sean opened the door. I wanted him to see Nina, but he just slammed the door in my face. A day later, I received a restraining order. I wanted to write Sean on social media. I was shocked. He was married and his wife looked familiar. It took me a week to figure out who she was. It blew my mind. I needed Sean's personal belongings to confirm my guess. I looked through everything. Sean really didn't leave us anything. Suddenly, my daughter saved us. She'd hidden a few of Sean's things as keepsakes. I sent it all to a lab out of town for a DNA test. After getting the results, I accused Sean of fraud and forgery. His new wife is a genetics lab tech. She taught him how to bypass the test. When I saw Claire's photo, I remembered I'd watched her interview. It couldn't have been a coincidence. The new test proved these were his kids. Sean wanted to marry Clara, but didn't want to pay child support. So she helped him, and now I could prove it. My ex now pays regular child support and is under investigation. I invested everything into the store. Turns out I'm a savvy businesswoman. My girls and I don't spare one thought for Sean anymore. Is it possible to forgive a father who betrayed his children for money?